Well, everyone, look at this. My morning just got a little ruined right now because of an LYPD investigation at 21st Street, Queensbridge. So, this is what I don't get. You know, they tell everybody, just read this. I mean, they should at least be telling people that you can also take the B or D train to get over to Rockefeller Plaza and what else? Yeah, Bryant Park. So this is terrible communication by the uh, NYCT subway Twitter handle. And in case you're wondering, I did ask if the Long Island Railroad was cross soldering So I don't have an option to get to Grand Central Madison. Turnpike and Parsons Boulevard. Look at this. It is gone, guys. It's no longer here. And supposedly, this right ain't over here. Uh, they're gonna close soon, from uh, what I've been hearing. Just like how the CBS on um, 47th Avenue and Utopia Parkway is gonna close in. July. So yeah, I mean it's changing evolution of retail, guys. It's really unfortunate. It really, really is, you know. It's so sad. You know, now that Target's trying to put a bigger footprint in New York City, now that you can get your prescriptions delivered right to your door now, you don't even need to go to the pharmacy. And then now it's like nobody wants to go to, to dining inside anymore. You can just make food yourself or do takeout on Grubhub or Uber Eats. All right, so we're finally approaching the Kew Gardens Union Turnpike Station and there's good news. I just checked the My MTA app and as you're seeing here, this is the MTA website. Uh, sounds like both the E and the F are running without any issues right now. So that is very good news. So it looks like I'm probably going to end up taking the F train after all. So this is where they rerouted the F trains about an hour ago. They had to make them run on the M track right here at 36th Street. And they were running along the M line and they had to make most of the F trains about an hour ago run to Lexington Avenue and 53rd Street instead. So, thankfully we're now on our normal track, which is good news. And, thankfully again, I didn't have to take the E. Because if I had to take the E train, I would have had to transfer at 7th Avenue and then take the BD, which would have not been bad because the 7th Avenue layout is pretty simple with the stairwells over there. So yeah, that, uh, just about whatever happened this morning was taken care of. Alright, so we're now approaching 21st Street Kingsbridge. We're gonna see if anything is pulled down over here. Looks like it has, which is good news. I don't know if that was a police officer, but you never know. More like a tall guy. So yeah, at the moment, looks like everything's fine here, which is good news. So again, whatever happened about an hour ago, you know, pretty much got wrapped up. So, yeah. So we're all good. We're all good. You know, again, whatever happened an hour ago, doesn't matter. And now we're making our way to Roosevelt Island. Well, 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 look what we have again here on the tracks. You guessed it, the summer of trash continues. 
you know, like I said, I, I, I'm upset with the governor. I really, really am upset with Governor Hopeful. And the thing is, I can't comment on about it until July, because I'm going to not be in New York, possibly. Which I don't want to give away what day I'm going, because then online trolls will go after me for it. So, let's just stick on top. Like, we're going to wait for the steam train to clear up. And we're going to see how bad the trash is, because, you know... I'm just disgusted right now, guys. You know, this is why there have been so many track fires in the past month. You know, this is why your subways run with the lace. Oh, boy, you got to be kidding me. What's going on? Thank you. So we're just going to wait for the train to clear out. And we're going to see how bad the trash situation is. I got plenty of time, you know. Piano doesn't start till 1230. So let's see. I'm not seeing anything on this track. It's just that track. But I'll see if anything else is down there. Just for a brief second. Yeah, this track's actually pretty clean. It's this track that needs cleaning. So what I'll do is I'll notify NYCT Subway on Twitter in a little while and let them know about it because I have to get to Fifth Avenue and use the uh, last day of the McDonald's coupon because today is June 20th and McDonald's is supposed to still give you the free uh, the one dollar Diet Coke or any drink. So yeah, I'm just looking for the seven. Yeah, here's the seven. This is where I need to go, guys, Fifth Avenue. So now I'm gonna exit and make my way, because I have a phone call to make. Okay, I'm now gonna use the elevator here at Grand Central Madison. I was just using the uh, restroom just now, and now I'm gonna make my way up to the street level. I gotta say, this is not a bad elevator. I mean, yeah, it has that, still that new smell, I guess. Because <laughs> the station just opened in February. But, um, yeah, I really like using the Grand Central Madison restroom because it's clean, it's nice. Sometimes you get a long walk and sometimes you get the elevator. <sighs> Boy, thank goodness I do not have to deal with that headache of the stairwell, you know? Oh boy. <laughs> okay, here's the street. Just saw Grand Central, so that was pretty cool. Very accessible for the handicap. And here we are at 43rd and, um, right, this is 43rd Street. And down there is 42nd Street. Yeah. So. At least I know there's another entrance, which is right here. Yep. There's another entrance where I can get inside to Grand Central Madison in the future, which is pretty cool. You know, especially because they really did plan this out for the redevelopment of this area besides Rockefeller Plaza. And I'm hoping during the holidays, guys, I'm hoping I get to show you the, uh, whatchamacallit, Right, the other entrance on 47th Street by Rockefeller Plaza, which makes it a lot easier to get over to St. Patrick's Cathedral on 5th Avenue. So, yeah, I hope a lot of people are going to utilize it the next couple of months. So, here's the other entrance I just came out of. And... Yeah, I said, I'm pretty happy I went inside Grand Central Madison to use the restroom. Because you know how it is with Metro North up there, guys. It's not really safe. You know, I guess because maybe the homeless don't like to walk as much and they prefer more convenibility. Me, you know, I know my city pretty well. And you know what? That's just the way it is. 
and that's the way it's going to be. So, now I'm going to make my way into McDonald's and get my Diet Coke. Well guys, I made a little bit of a boo-boo. I forgot the $1 Diet Coke expired yesterday. Yeah, it expired yesterday, guys. I completely forgot. It was June 19th. Today's June 20th. I was on the McDonald's app just now, and I was like, oh, boy. And you know what? I came prepared today. I came prepared because I got another Pepsi Zero Sugar Max at CVS with my coupon, I think, a week or two ago. So I know I used one of my, my coupons in New Jersey a couple weeks ago, and I used it last week in Bayside. So, thank goodness I have another Diet Coke at home. I come prepared because my parents always get the discounts at ShopRite. And my dad's a ShopRite Plus card member. So yeah, that's the good news, you know. That's from all the years where I used to shop all the time when he would make the trip out to Plainview. So yeah, I'm not upset, guys. What I am more upset about right now is my shoe. Stop here for a second. I don't know what's going on with my shoe today. Ooh, you got a little blister. I don't know how that happened. Okay, I fixed my shoe a little bit. Maybe something wrong with the right one, so I'll just take a little stop for a sec. Oh boy. Yeah, because right now it is, what time is it? Yeah, right now it's 12.13, so I can't be dilly-dallying. I got to get a seat because piano is about to start in 15 minutes. So, thank goodness I went to Grand Central Madison and used the restroom because imagine dealing with a long line at Bryant Park or dealing with security in the New York Public Library or hoping that somebody would give you the code to use the bathroom in Whole Foods. Because those are the only four public restrooms I know in this area along 42nd Street. Yeah, you can go to M&M's World. But then here's the problem. That's a longer schlep out to Times Square. Who wants to do that? You know? Who really wants to do that? Especially because the humidity is going up. Beginning Thursday. And... You know, I was second guessing if I wanted to come out here, but then I found out that it's not supposed to rain today, so. And, and days before, I'm supposedly heading back to Del Marva. So, yeah. Let's go into Bryant Park and let's get a seat. Alrighty. So, here we are. Piano game. Last one before I go to Delmarva. So today, our performer is Isaiah Bin Allah. Because last week, I would have loved to see Terry Waldo, but I had I had work. So, no matter what, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here in October. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. So, I'm going to take a seat. I'm going to sit down and uh, get ready for the music. Look at this. Broadway is back at Bryant Park. You know how I know this? Because Cubby and Cindy on 106.7 Light FM were talking about it this morning and I was listening on the radio back in Queens. So, yeah, come out on Thursday nights and uh, you get free Broadway. Who knows, you might get to see Leah Michelle from Funny Girl. I think that's one of the performances. Because I know Leah is um, gonna be wrapping up her stint in September. And she was just at the Tonys a couple days ago. Um, I think the cast of Some Like It Hot will be performing here. Um, 
that other musical, I forget the name of it at the moment, but the musical, the uh, Kimberly Acumbo, that's the one. Kimberly is gonna be here too. And I heard some really interesting stuff about it. Because even though I can't afford Broadway, trust me, I, I look forward to the Tonys just because it's like my one glimpse where I can see and, 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 the, and the Thanksgiving Day Parade because that's when the that's when the Broadway performers always um, always come out with a full vengeance. Like an hour before the main floats come by. And I want to mention, hopefully the day before Thanksgiving, I'll try to be in Midtown because I got to plan out the economics to take the Port Washington branch to and from here. So I'm going to probably spend the day in Herald Square, which I think I did that back in 2021 upon correct. So yeah, I'm going to get back to my seat. Right now it's about nine minutes until showtime. So I'm going to go eat my lunch and um, I'll take some video clips of the performance today. So I quickly want to mention yesterday I went to AMPM in Bayside and they had the large drink for 75 cents, which was a better deal because I got a Diet Dr. Pepper yesterday. So yeah, I'm uh, very happy about that. I don't know what's going on with my camera today. Jeez. But yeah, I just wanted to mention that and I'm sweating. Because again, this humidity is picking up, but that, that's okay. Because hopefully in a couple days, again, I'm not going to say when, but there will be a video soon. I don't know when, but soon when I am in Delmarva. So for now, I get to enjoy my last few moments in New York before I head down. Original, I brought my whole book of originals Look, here. Isaiah is wearing and, a mask. Uh, uh, because he's afraid of the air quality, some, uh, which he admitted it. Some standard, standards, and then we'll be taking the, the air back. quality turns right, south. Um, Believe me, I'm prepared. Also, in honor of uh, just like I was on seven day, the week of uh, Juneteenth as well as uh, Father's Day. Acknowledge there's a field trip here. The class is like literally right behind me. We do have a biography of Isaiah right here. Wow. Queen C. Jones, Michael Jackson's producer, guys. Ray Charles. I mean, that's a. Wow. Schmidt, big resume. You know, I don't understand why the tour guide couldn't go somewhere else to, you know, do the tour proper today at Bryant Park, but, you know. So I say it took off his mask. Forever demanding to know who, what, why, where. An inquisitive child. Sometimes the questions get wild. Daddy, can I have that big elephant? So, um, there goes the field trip. <laughs>
I decided I'm going to leave Bryant Park now because, number one, I want to use the restroom at uh, Rockefeller Plaza. And uh, number two, oh I feel like taking a little walk right now. Don't ask why, but the humidity's actually gone down. So I'm going to try to make the light here. But uh, anyhow, guys, just want to show you this. So this happened earlier in the uh, in Hell's Kitchen. There was a fire on the second floor of an apartment building on 450 West 58th between 9th and 10th. Look how bad this fire is, guys. Wow. And that would explain why FDNY came up a little while ago. So, yeah, I'm just taking a little walk because I don't know what happened. It was so humid this morning, and now there's a little bit of a breeze. So, I'm kind of tempted to walk to 53rd Street and 5th Avenue and just take the E train home today. I'm kind of tempted to. Or, I don't know, do I want to take the Q88 to go home today? Maybe. Might do that instead. That's what I'll probably end up doing if things go the way they do. So, yeah, guys, I wanted to show you what happened earlier. So, I'm going to focus on the road right now. And, uh,. And that sun is just blaring on me right now. So here I am, 5th Avenue. So I'm going to do my little walk here from 42nd. And I'm going to take a little walk up. Wow, the blue sky came out. And I'm feeling the sun come on me. But when there's a breeze, it feels pretty comfortable. You know, I had time to sit down and relax, but you know what? In the restroom in Rockefeller Plaza is not that far away. And you know, they always keep them clean. I'd rather use that right now before I hop on the E, because I'm not taking the F today. I I'm refusing to, because what would be the point? You know, I know how to get back to Fifth Avenue, and you know, that's just the way it is. So right now they're doing a new building in this area. Right now we got to be very careful here. This is the uh, 44th and 5th access. Oh! <laughs> I think that sign said 2026. Oh boy, wait till, wait till the holiday season, guys. Uh, that's not gonna make the tourists pretty happy. So I'm probably gonna have to deal with this. Probably, uh, probably with the next couple of months when I'm back at Rockefeller Plaza. But I know they have the roller skating rinks, so I can probably show you that for a little while. No, we could do that. Yeah. See, all dreams start somewhere. So a lady doing that. I could take the express bus, but then here's the problem. You know, I'm kind of not in the mood right now. So, yeah. I want to take this little walk right now. I got plenty of time to head back to Queens. I'm going to put the camera down for a second and just uh, focus on getting over to Rockefeller Plaza for a bit. Well, here it is. Rockefeller Center lower skating rink. That would be much smaller than the ice skating rink, but yeah. 
definitely a lot smaller in my opinion. So, I want to quickly show you it. And by the way, guys, traffic is a nightmare today. Traffic is just an utter nightmare today. Like, all the other cross streets today, like 48th Street, 47th Street, 46th Street, even 45th Street, when I was walking, it was a nightmare. Like, not that much traffic here on 49th Street, so I don't know what's going on today. So, we got a problem here at 50th and 5th Avenue right now. Here in front of St. Pat's. So right now, Midtown North is blocking off traffic between 5th Avenue and Madison Avenue. And that's a big no-no right now. Because I heard that there's some foreign dignitaries here today. I don't know what's going on, but... I don't know, because maybe Cardinal Dolan had some kind of special service today. The uh, Archbishop of New York. So, I don't know what's going on. Why do the cops have 50th Street closed off? You know, that's why I'm just going to take the subway out of here. Because the Beans Boulevard line's running. And I'll uh, try to make my way over to the E train. And then hopefully I'll get over to Bean Center Mall. And uh, once I transfer at Jackson Heights, and then I'm just gonna take the uh, take the connection from there and make up some time. So I'd rather would just use the E train right now. So it's best that I get out of here as quickly as I can because I don't know how bad the traffic's gonna get. Well guys, guess what? I'm at 7th Avenue now. You may be wondering, why? Well, because the countdown clock at 5th Avenue and 53rd Street was telling me the E train to Queens was pulling in. Boy, this is ridiculous. Let's see if the information and Hoffman. Nope, not working. Oh, here we go. Help you. Hi, when's the next um, Queensbound E train coming to 7th Avenue? Seven minutes. Seven minutes, thank you. I'm telling you guys, the, you should have saw how bad the E train was. It, it was really bad. Like, it, it was it was like sardine house in there. So, at least I get to catch my breath. Because I'm really trying to get back to Queens before it gets even worse because you know, I, again, I, I saw somewhere online a foreign dignitary was in Manhattan or something. I don't know what was going on, but I was like, okay, I'm seeing the cross streets get bad. You know, normally it doesn't get that bad because the cross streets haven't been that bad in weeks. Because remember, the cross streets got impacted by that Riders Guild strike that I attended a couple weeks ago. So now, now I got to wait five more minutes just to get back to Queens. So I'm, I'm very upset, guys, and you know, that's what happens when you try to get out of a very dicey situation, you know? You know, I, I, you know, it was just crazy. Like, traffic wasn't moving, and I don't know, maybe it's a ploy to get congestion pricing into effect. I don't know, but I'm just disgusted right now, guys. I really, really am. Guess what? We got more trash on the tracks here at 7th Avenue. Just want to see if there's any laying on this track. Let's take a look for a second. Oh my goodness gracious. That's nasty looking. So, again, the summer of trash continues. And finally, here comes my train. What a disaster, guys. What a disaster. So 
this is pretty cool guys. New York One was actually mentioning this, this this morning. They have a special exhibit at the Museum of the City of New York. And it shows 100 years of New York through art and pop culture on the third floor of the museum. And it's in East Harlem. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, Channel One did a good job of uh, talking about it this morning. So, I know the the mission price is twenty dollars to get into the museum, and I just want to give you a fair warning: the museum is closed on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So you can take the six train up to East Harlem, and. Um, it's pretty interesting what they showed. Well, they showed Elf, they showed the Jeffersons. I think they even showed Spider-Man. And also there were some really cool portraits of old pictures showing the uh, old twin towers of the World Trade Center. So, um, let me see if there's a website. I don't think there's a... Oh, here we go. So, here's the website. The City Police Department will not be able to search it right now. Your belongings inside and stay aware of your surroundings. If you see something suspicious in the station or on the train, tell the police officer. If I find the New York One article about it, I will uh, leave it in the description below if you want to see the story yourself. But just a fair warning if you don't have Spectrum or Optimum, you're not going to be able to watch the video unless they give you the five free video preview so yeah I, I found I found it pretty interesting this morning um, that story they did so pretty cool what just happened the uh, engineer on my E train just talked about the R train at 36th Street so that's probably gonna be my connection at Jackson Heights trying to get over to um, Woodhaven Boulevard you don't see that every day. Well, 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 the continuing never-ending story of the summer of trash continues to back to my 12 dollars. Oh boy, guys. Eh, not as bad as what I saw in Manhattan earlier, but let's see how this track is. Summer of Trash 23. to tweet um, NYCT Subway earlier, but you know what? I'm better off just videographing everything at this point just to show you what's going on with the subway system because clearly I'm the only one that's doing it right now. I don't know how long this is going to continue for the rest of the summer. But I'm telling you guys, this is the first summer in four years and I am allowed to not wear a mask on the platform and it feels so good. Really does, guys, because it, it, the past two years dealing with it was miserable. And I mean miserable. Wearing a mask on the, on the platform. It was just, it was unbearable. You know, I could have gotten away with it two years ago and then just put the mask back on the train, but yeah. My hard train's coming. Should be here in a bit. So right now at Court Street, there are delays on the R line. And that's why I think two trains on the R line are tailing each other right now from what I just saw on the MyMTA app. So my train is coming because again, I just saw it literally right when we were passing 36th Street in Astoria. Because I'm now in Jackson Heights waiting for this so I can get the Q88 bus. Oh, yeah. Oh boy, that does not sound good. Yeah, the axis. That's what happens with the trash on the tracks. I'm seeing more of it down there. Yep. Oh boy. So, again, 
Summer of Trash 23 continues. And I want to mention the Halal place on 184th and Horace. Oh, man. It's the worst spot in all of Fresh Meadows where the trash stinks. Especially in the summer. PU, guys. So if you take the Q17, the Q30, or the Q88, be warned, I'm the one who told you. So here we go. Here comes my R train. Well, I'm off to Elmhurst and I'm off to the mall. To hopefully take the bus back to Fresh Meadows. So here it is, guys. The only cheesecake factory in all of the five boroughs. Queen Center Mall. So... I'm going to wait for the Q88 to take me home. So a little bit of a slowdown right now. Bunch of double parked vehicles, at least six here on 59th Avenue. As we're trying to make the ride on Junction Boulevard. So yeah, guys, just another day. Dealing with nonsense in the five boroughs of New York City. So I'm going to explain why your Q88 eastbound sometimes runs a little bit more the snaggle. This is all the traffic trying to get onto the Van Wyck Expressway right now. And once you hit the Van Wyck, oh boy, it's all the traffic trying to get over to JFK Airport. Yeah. There wasn't that much of a slowdown today, but yeah. Imagine if something happened to the Van Wick. You know, like what happened on I-95 in Philly. You know, where, where would all the trucks go if they wanted to go to JFK Airport? Guess what they all have to use? You guessed it, Woodhaven Boulevard. So, that's what people in Philadelphia have been using. They've been using a thoroughfare like Woodhaven Boulevard in Philly, from what I've been seeing. So, I'll leave a video right now in the description below, or it may come up in a card, it depends. I want to show you how bad the traffic is in Philly. Like, I can't show you it, but Philly Captain's better at explaining it than, uh, than I am, pretty much. By the way, I want to mention, sometime next week, the good news is a, a part of 95 that got destroyed in the wreck but the track the trailer. Uh, according to Pennsylvania Governor Penn Shapiro, it sounds like the temporary roadway is going to open up next week. Which is very good news. Which, you know, having I-95 shut down for that full long amount of time throughout the whole summer, Especially as I'm going to Ocean City, Maryland in a couple of days. You know, you need 95 reopened. That's the bottom line. You can't have it shut down for a whole long amount of time. Anyhow, look at this. Classic Cadillac makes an appearance here in Flushing. That's pretty cool. And look at Saturn. Oh. Wrap this clip up. I want to mention if you're on 188th Street in Crush Meadows, anywhere from Ben Central Parkway to around Union Turnpike, there's a cool Hummer display. Maybe I'll get it on video next time when I have a shift at LIJ. And I'll uh, show you it because there's like two Hummer H2s and there's uh, what else? Right, what else? An older H1. Here's the crazy thing. As I'm gonna wrap this clip up. What am I gonna say? At a hospital worker at 
New York Presbyterian just get off. So she's probably going to wait for the 244 and 220. Or she could just walk up to the hospital because... You guys don't know this about me, but I used to be a environmental services worker for a couple of months at the Presbyterian, but it used to be New York Hospital, Queens. So, yeah, that was me around 10 years ago. There might be a graduation ceremony at Queens College today. Hmm. Interesting. I walked out close to the bus stop is from Reeves Avenue to Casino Boulevard because they're proposing to eliminate it as part of the Queens bus redesign. And then 156th Street is another close bus stop, so. Yeah. That's the way it's working right now. You know? And they did it in the box, and now they want to do Queens next. So, because the LIE has all the traffic right now, yeah, of course, Harding has traffic. Mm -hmm. Probably because everybody got out of Manhattan when they did because they knew the foreign dignitary was coming in, and that's why everybody got a head start. Whoa, who left all this trash out here on 64th Avenue? Like a bunch of magazines and, oh my goodness. Yeah, what a mess this is, guys. I don't know what's going on here, but apparently we have fire department activity, well, ambulance activity here at 188th Street at 64th Avenue right now. I'm not seeing anything on Citizen App, so uh, maybe because of HIPAA, they're protecting the patient, which is understandable. I get it. Again, I work in a nursing home. That's fine because we have senior care, which comes to Osmond. Yeah, this is a Flushing Ambulance Hospital. We got my right, Flushing Hospital Ambulance and an FDNY one right here. So I don't know what's up, guys. But as Charlton always says, it is what it is. All right, guys. A lot of craziness that happened today. A lot of craziness. So, uh, looks like we got bunching right now. Two buses are probably bunched together, probably because of the traffic earlier with all the uh, double parked cars back in Elmhurst and with um, maybe two minor slowdowns because 188th Street wasn't that bad today at the Oval, but yeah. I'm uh, gonna wrap this video up, guys. Uh, you know, a lot, a lot was said, a lot was done, and you know, I'm just glad I got out of Manhattan when I did, because it would have been uh, a nightmare. It took like an hour and 30 minutes, but I don't care, guys. Because at the end of the day, you know, I made up a little time here and there, but. I'm just glad again I get to get away from New York for a few days. Can't wait to get out of here. You know, because all the madness that I've had to deal with here in the New York Tri-State Metropolitan Region, even, yeah, I guess Washington Street and Hoboken counts. You know, I get to really go away from New York, the New York Metropolitan Region for a couple of days, which I'm not going to say when I'm leaving. Me soon, guys. Very, very soon. Okay? Meanwhile, I'm seeing a West Virginia plate here. That's very odd. So, it's going to wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. And as always, until the next one, please take care.